Skoda Stadium welcomes Collingwood to the land of the Giants. Stay on his opponent, or he had to impact the footy. We've been ultra critical here, and that's one worthy of criticism. Yeah, there's a goal to Elliot. Oh, hang on. <laughs> Come on. It's been, been, a rough, been a rough start for the goal. Goal. Looks like a goal as well. I didn't. I'm not sure. I I didn't know whether it was goal. It's okay. Thanks. What did you say? Not sure. Okay. We believe it's a goal. Yeah, definitely a goal. Not a great kick in from Luke Powell. With no, the not his best. No, not his best. Luke's a wonderful kick. Yeah. And you don't mind that the senior players, if anyone's going to get spanked yeah. up for having a go and trying yeah. to buy it off too much, you'd... When Luke is kicking in, yeah. see how many blokes are just pressing up on the short lead? Yeah. Because uh, you know Luke is not going to try and thump at 60, 60 metres, metres down yeah. the line. The middle. Now, this has got to be spot on. It is if you're a Collingwood fan because he's kicked it straight to wood. Most of the kicks that... He misses Tom. He pulls them as a left footer to his right. High ball in. Gold sack! The man Paul Rouge was just talking about. And Gold sack takes a mark. 15 metres out directly in front. Should put the pies in front for the first time today. The overhead marks that Hampton takes are like that when he's third yes, man up yeah. without physical pressure. Goes back. Slams it through. Second goal for the pies. They lead. He should become the player. But a more skillful version of what he's playing on. In, in goal sack. See, Kirtley Hampton's run around the back there. You'll see him on the right-hand side of screen coming in. Now, oh, well, he didn't even make the frame. Yeah. So, once again, yeah, it's an education is, process. Palmer, Hoskin Elliott probably wants that one again. Now yeah. the pies to make him pay. Yeah, Matty, I just don't think they can get caught up in a foot race. You know, it looks at the moment, they're just a little bit too up-tempo, Derm. You know, they've got to settle it down a little bit. Folau just need to go back, because these turnovers now, the last turnover from Scully, and this one's going to hurt him as well. Pendlebury to Swan, the Brownlow medalist, bangs it through. That's how you affect a turnover. Went forward, and he's going to always be able to find his way onto the end of that type of thing. Huskin Elliott, talented player, really good runner. Yeah, as you said, he, he probably wants that one back. One thing, talking about looking back, he won't want to actually get the tape of that during no, the week. No, he'll he's think that's horrible. Edit that out. Yeah, he'll hope that didn't happen, but he's going to see it again. For him just yet. I'll tell you what, he could have just shepherded that through. Oh. Would have gone. He was the last man in that, uh, that pack, and if he had let it go through, it would have been a goal. Well, speaking of goals, how about that from Sinclair? Maybe. Gee. Yeah. He's a beautiful uh, kick, Luke. Yeah, he's a good kick. But you know it's not going to go far. No. I mean, that's the thing. So you so you've got to spot that and you can yeah. press up on it. You're right. Are you, Buck? I mean, a lot of other teams are trying to get it 60, 70 metres away from goal. Aren't they in the first quarter? They're, yeah, they were clearly in the game, but the turnovers have actually killed them and contributed to most of Collingwood's goals. Right to the line, the kick from Reed. How does it fall? First to it, Elliot. Here's my man, Elliot. <laughs> Here it is here. Just a bad, bad turnover again. Eyes on the ball. Good mark from Reed. Hung it up there, didn't And then it? it was a bit of a nothing kick, I thought. So, not a great kick, that. It should have been sport through by. There's three Giants against two. And then Elliot comes in. So, this should have been crushed through the goals. And shouldn't have happened. There's the kick from Elliot. That's his second goal. Two goals. He's got it now, though, but he's kicked it along the ground, and there was a goalkeeper move there. Frosty. Yeah. Sure, oh, back to close. Very, very good kick. See that type of play. Jared Blair to kick the goal, and there's still five minutes remaining in the quarter, and Collingwood's starting to get some control on the ball. They're in front 41 to 21, but a lot of these are a result. This is a great effort by Cloak. Follow up, didn't like the first kick along the ground, never liked that. But nice handball out, nice follow up here, and a really, really, I don't know, if it's, yeah, he, he probably summed it up before he actually kicked it. But a lot of this is about the Giants just probably dropping off, which is not unexpected late in quarters. Now they're just going to hold the forward a little bit and get out of this with limited damage. Good point. <laughs> I can't ever work out how you can kick it in the bloke on the mark, though, Dern. <laughs> it's a cardinal, cardinal sin, isn't it? Well done by Pendlebury to get it back to Blair. Seedsman got boots of ball. Buckley around the corner. Dawes is there, and Dawes has got it. Oh, 
I agree with you, Rusey, but I can't claim that I've never done it. Of the evening. And this to bring the margin to 26, which is about what Pies fans are looking for at quarter time. Gets it straight through. A sort of a bit of a balloon ball coming in here. Nice hand, Pendlebury, really good composure. He's, he's probably the best decision maker in the competition. Just gets yeah, beat mate, the ball get there. Beat, a scrubby old kick, but good to the top of the square. And nice body work beating two players. So that's really what they want to see of Dawes. Just that contested marking at the top of the square. And then a pretty easy finish from about 12 metres out. He was a forward, Matt. He did struggle to kick goals. Yeah, 365 goals, though. Yeah, but he kicked a lot of points, though, didn't he? He had to have a lot of shot at goal. And when he went back, he really settled himself as a, as a real... In AFL football, in his third game. A big moment for the young man. Not bad. Oh, not bad. Straight through. And he's pleased. He's got his first goal. <laughs> well, you touched Beautiful. on it. Here's Some of another... the world's great golf courses up there. Is it? Yeah. But another turnover, Dan. We touched it. It's almost from a... another senior player. You feel like a sense of deja vu, don't yeah. you? Like first quarter, Giants were all over him early in the quarter. Then a couple of turnovers There's got the Pies running, back in the yeah. game, and we're seeing almost a duplicate of it in the second quarter. Looks to be okay, just taking his time. Well, he's Seeds him in now. Yeah, there's a player free in the middle, uses him. Maxwell from 65 metres out. 65 is good enough for the skipper. Bang! Thank you. And he's a got good the choice inside. Yeah. Maybe the momentum has switched back. Similar to the opening quarter. Yeah. Seedsman, Blair, Young. Swan pushes off a ward. Front on, on, advantage paid. Swan to kick his second, and the army are getting a bit louder. It was a lightning premiership. Uh, the Giants would be going very well. Just for Lau there, you could see him labouring a little bit going to the centre of the ground. A smart play by Swan. Got a free kick, but just played on, didn't waste any time and energy, and kicked a, a really nice goal. So it's. Uh, Collingwood not playing great football, but they find themselves 34 points up. Yeah, they had no impact on the marking no. contest no. at all, did it? Yeah. But, but it's, it's the rule. Free kick. No, it is, yep. Well, he had to wait there, uh, Adams. It was a high ball up. Collingwood win it for solo. Kick is a clever one. Along the ground, out in front of Cloak. Well Wheels around, got the free kick paid against him, but then kicks a fantastic goal for his first. I'm not real sure about that, Dermot. Well, he's playing for the team and he's having contractual disputes. I don't think if you're a Collingwood fan, you want to criticise him. He's part of the team. He's part of their preparation going into a you know, final series and hopefully a premiership. But he, he can't fold his work rate. He's certainly working really, really hard and he's starting to get a bit of reward for it today. 50, isn't it? Oh, well, it was an in the market yeah, contest. No, maybe it was. Uh, don't go past him, Frost. Yeah, you've got to hold him up. To beans. You can see there's some fatigue in the body. Yeah. I also feel with, with Phil Davis, he's, he's game and manful. I reckon Cloak has worked him over a little bit in the last few minutes. Speaking about working over, big finish from Beams. Really nice and a good finish from Beams. Outside 50. Does kick it a long way, doesn't he, Beams? He does. This is the Giants. Do they have enough men to yeah. cover him to come off? Do you trust? Well, I, I just don't. I don't think. I think it's unfair on your captain, your young captain Davis. It's unfair on him to ask him to play on cloak and stay on the ground the whole time, and then go to Tarrant and then come back onto cloak. Shaw's in the van here. Gets the handball from Beams. Shaw won't miss, and he doesn't. He's had another one kicked on him. He's been worked over by that. He's been tag teamed. Yeah. It's like the old WWE days, you know. He's been thrown into the turnbuckle and now on comes Tarrant over the top. I knew you'd like that. <laughs> the old two, the handicap match. <laughs> Andre. Giles almost. Cameron looking for it. <laughs> Maxwell stands up and kicks it clear. Blair. Now Collingwood gets something happening. Now for Solo with the kick to Shaw. Stretches, but had to go down. He wanted to move it quickly. He knew they had some room and space. Over to Dawes. Now Buckley. Now Seedsman. He knew the cloak was free. Should steady. Should straighten up. Should kick a goal. Kicks his second. And that's reward for effort. Giants have started a lot better in each of the first and the second quarter. Shaw's been really effective forward of the ball tonight. Good help ball movement. Good running. Good follow-up. Nice target. 
and then Cloak gets reward. He's really worked hard tonight, Cloak, and he started to get some reward. But the Pies have only had, if I look at the tackles, 24 tackles for the whole game, which is pretty ordinary. Here's Dane Swan for number three. Well, it won't be him, but Travis Cloak will kick his third. This is arguing that he shepherded him away from the footy. That's a mark. Three goals to Travis Cloak. Him. You can't wrestle. There's no, there's no. And look, it's tough in this situation because there's not Good much tap. room to actually get off him. And you've got to take away. I would have stood the other side simply from the fact that you're trying to push him to the to the points rather than the goals. I think his mistake there was on the wrong side of him. But he's a big. He's obviously a big guy. And it's really tough. Uh, four points ahead on the quarter, Collingwood. This one's had four possessions. Pendlebury seven goes inside. Beams. So beams from, he'll kick just inside the 50. There he goes from 48. Nice action. Umpire doesn't move. He gets them going. They want to bridge the gap. And here it is, nice, really nice kick from, once again, efficient from uh, Pendlebury. Swan's starting to get on his bike a little bit now. He's starting to work a bit harder. I mean, he's had a pretty good game. He's, he's been quite solid. Beam's kicking a goal from outside 50, but they really do need to, the next 40 minutes of this game, the Pies need to really get a wriggle on if they're going to bridge that gap on the Eagles. The man on the mark, 54, 55 out, decides to just spot it up to Wood. They want it wider. Now it's Reed has Buckley running for him and he goes back in the other way. Drills it in low, good vision, onto the chest of Fasolo. He almost bobbled it, but he should go back and kick the goal. Fasolo lining up for his first tonight. Just inside 50 when he hits it. As soon as he hit it, he liked it. He was running off the ground before it went through. 40-point win, Doom. Just watch this. Now watch Pendlebury keep Patton away from it. See, Patton's got to go for that. To me, that tells me he's been a bit sore over recent weeks. That tells me that he couldn't push into Pendlebury. He is that player who has to crash that pack. Gets turned over, goes the other end. Goal, Collingwood. Going back to Shaw, and he's going to go. He goes straight up the ground. He spotted Beams. Wonderful vision. Beams can take it and go as well. Long ball up. Tarrant in position or Cloak. Cloak. Too strong, too big. Tarrant. You know, I don't know whether they've got another option on Cloak, but I think the worry for Davis is now that he's playing a really tough position. Set up back. He's 21. Yeah, exactly. He hasn't turned 22 yet. Three goals for Travis. Make it four. If he was playing in your team with you, Rusey, you'd still be looking after him with kid, kid gloves. That's exactly right, Dan. A really good point. He'd be playing on the third tall, or he'd be playing floating half forward, you know, back and forward and just learning the caper. What they're asking him to do at GWS is play on the key forward like Travis Cloak week in, week out. They need to give him a chop out. Yeah, we've seen Collingwood really winning on fitness and just talent. They have, not on effort. Uh, haven't had a lot of effort from oh, the Pies. Kick. What a kick. Yeah, nice kick. And Cloak's got it. And he just puts it into the path or at the goal. Take your pick. He's got a handful. Five goals to the power forward. This afternoon, this evening, for the Collingwood supporters at home. Watch this kick. Beautiful How kick. quick it yeah. goes through the air. He is a, a, just a, a monster kick, Reid. But... I love how he doesn't get any sky balls. He just punches he them does. through the air. They, they're like an extra set taking off. It's a nice trajectory, isn't it, that yeah. kick? Waiting to set it up. Kick comes out wide. Sinclair to Swan. Forced to give it back to Elliot. Stood up in the tackle. Stayed on it. Drills it in low. Tough one for Dawes to take, but he's equal to the task. Slipped it off to Tarrant, who's been inaccurate. Oh. Yeah, he got that one right. Can't get the set shots through, but he wobbles it through. And he... Nice take. Here it is here. Elliot just along the ground. But it gives the forward a chance at least. Really good take. Good clean hands. And watch the late hook here. We can't see it, but the late hook and Tarrant's going, that's a point, that's a point. Nah, that's a goal. Yeah. Really got a nice little bend at the end of that one. And they're going to send it back in here, Collingwood. There, is, sack. there is a place in this modern game for the Gary Owen. The sky ball, I reckon, 50 metres up and 30 along yeah. to let numbers get under it. That's when he's worked hard again. Good kick from Toby to find him. Away the back end of each of the quarters. 
Another big night for Dane Swan, but this 150th goal has eluded him for a while, but not anymore. Covered him up in a nice white suit. Well, maybe in the travelling um, circus show it might have been back in those days. Yeah, there's a lot of uh, 1930s about it. Nice finish from Dane Swan. I'm undone. See, there was a point there where they had to clear the area and just yeah, they can't hammer it up the line. Clark on hands and knees, Sinclair, Young. Beams does that. He just hammers it up the line. Oh, Bruce had a fresh air. Cloak to Goldsack. Pulls the kick. Swan again. And oh, he thought about See, it. Yeah, I reckon he... Yeah, I think you're absolutely right, Matty. He sort of thought, well, I'll go. Yeah, I will. No way. No way. No. You'd end up in the 40 zone again. There it is. Four for Swan. Five in a row. Their midfield does run hard. And they run... Deep, they'll, they'll continue to work hard. There he is there at the contest. Just watch him here. It's a bit hard to tell his direct opponent is, but he didn't really run with him, whoever it was. Got to so, take your hat off to Cloak as well. Yeah. He pushed over sideways here, the encroaching secondary GWS opponent. And got still got the handball out. <laughs> They're going to be tough to beat in 50 games' time. Just not sure where you keep your darts when you travel, <laughs> do Here they go, the pies. For Solo from outside 50. Sets it up. Cloak's got it back into it. Over the top. He's not needed because he's there again. <laughs> he's some sort of player, isn't he? All of a sudden, Swan, he jumped over a lot of them. He's good overhead. Cloak's got five, but so Swan. And he's not done with yet either. Yeah. In the last quarter, he knows he's got a, an easy kill with a young midfielder that's just exhausted. And here he is here. He had no chance. He had no chance to mark that. Football. I think Edwards might have gone to him. I've noticed a couple of times he's been with him. Now, whether he's a direct opponent, but there's Edwards in front, and that's a really good mark over the top of Cloak and three Giants players. Brown, back to Young. Not 15, the call. Maxwell kicked a big, long goal in the second quarter. This time sends it up in the square. Goldsack made good position, recovers, gets free, gets around, kicks a goal. Uh, worth something now. You know, two and a half minutes left. And gee, we saw Gold Coast against Richmond in that time kick three goals. Yeah. They would be three of the more valuable goals you'll see for Collingwood if they can do it from here in. Well, they kick the last seven. Yeah. Yeah, they've fallen over now. Yeah, there's a... Just a ruck in, thanks guys. Young. Maxwell's in the middle, but he goes further afield to Clark. Stay there, stay there. Stay Maxwell up. kept going. He is next in line. And will this be his second goal from centre-half back? This time he runs inside the 50, but he drills it low. And Dawes has it. He plays on. Dawes gets one. A timely one for him. Watch out there. Is 17 doors probably just in the last quarter probably just got him over the the pass mark Dermot I would have thought it looked to his credit he's kept on working he's yep. ended up with 17 a couple of goals he started to clunk a couple nice low kick in got hold of it and kicked it you know obviously an easy goal but yeah, probably just got over the hump a little bit tonight I would have thought well they're back in the mix now aren't they yeah. that's the main thing yeah and they're probably not going to get there tonight well, they, they might have nice. time for one more Need a mark Clark. inside 50. Clark's got it. He's going to line up for goal number six. Fresh in the mind as well. Yeah, just freshen him up now. It's been a tough year for him as a centre back in a, in a young team. Cloak from 45. He's got six. And he's got the goal right on the siren. An impressive performance by the Magpies in the last quarter. Went into that. Uh, final quarter, 69 points in front, and their final margin, 120, kicking nine straight at the end. Go!